Standing at just five feet tall, Teresa Vandy Vander and Julia Henry might not look too intimidating, but make no mistake, these women are here to win. Their team named the Five Foot Firecrackers. They're one of nearly 50 teams competing Saturday at the Florence Civic Center for day two of the Independence Games. Just keep thinking about just pushing through and trying to get on the podium on the top. Henry's an eight-year Army veteran who served three tours in Iraq. For her, it's not just about winning, but not letting her partner down. You don't want to disappoint your partner, so you know that they're not going to disappoint you. Ask Vandy Vander and she'll tell you the feeling's mutual. I don't want to let her down, so that's, that's my big thing. She's my partner. And on Saturday, athletes compete in four CrossFit events, a combination of weights, cardio, and gymnastics. Athletes often train two or more hours a day, six days a week. What CrossFit does, it says, like, who's the best overall? Who's strong, who, can, who is conditioned cardiovascularly, and who can also do gymnastics movements well also. So it's the, it's the compilation of all those the best to see who's the most fit overall, not just in one thing. Independence Games director Dale Boykin says CrossFit is more than just a sport, it's a lifestyle. The concept of CrossFit is to prepare you for the unknown and unknowable, so that whatever you encounter in life, um, you're ready for it. In Florence, Mark Liverman, WPDE News Channel 15.